My name is Masashi Kawamura. I go by Masa and I come from Tokyo. I work in both Tokyo and New York. It's an honor to be here at Design in Daba. Um, it's one of those conferences that uh, as a designer you'd probably want to come once in your lifetime and it's uh, I'm very happy to be here for the first time and as a speaker. Design in Dava has always been like one of those conferences that I would drool to go to and just attend. So, you know, having been called as a speaker, you know, and not just as a, you know, audience, is just, you know, kind of my dream comes true. Yeah, I do a lot of different uh, work on different mediums, but today I want to talk more about the process and how I think and um, make things, I guess. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, designing new ways to design. We consider ourselves to be a creative lab because I believe that what we do is experimenting with uh, ways to kind of combine storytelling and technology. This was the first kind of music video that I did. Um, the whole important thing is about uh, trying to figure out new ways of working. You know, it's all the tools and all the teamwork. You know, you can do a lot of new things with technology. So I took that kind of approach. This was like the first test that I did uh, real consciously. What I did here was uh, I lined up uh, 250 cameras and uh, with strobes and controlled the strobes through a program so um, I could create these light pixel animations um, with real uh, flashing cameras. And uh, the whole theme was around uh, making things, making new ways of making things. And that's very important if you want to achieve something that nobody's really seen before. You know, don't use the same camera, but make your own camera. I showed some samples of the work that I did, you know, trying to bring that kind of philosophy into practice. This is kind of like the philosophy that I, I'm really hooked in right now. And uh, start to kind of become our company's vision as well. It's really important to think of ideas in the process even before you know you start making it. Like even when you get uh, for example like a music video brief you know don't don't start writing storyboards uh, immediately but it's it's more about okay how can I bring this music to life in a new way and how what if I could create a different you know device to film it with uh, you know that I think um, is actually a faster way to do something different. So um, that's kind of the process I go through every time. This is a music video for a Japanese band called Sawa, and the title was Hibi no Nero, which means tone of every day. And uh, what I did here was uh, I made a whole music video just out of webcam using uh, Skype or video chat, and I actually shot 80 of the actual fans of the band from around the world. You could tell that the fans actually were enjoying the whole process uh, for helping out you know, the musicians that they love. That really comes through the work. And also, you know, uh, through that experience, these people actually spread the word by themselves. So each of the actors or the participants you know, feels like it's, it's their piece. And I think that's a new way to kind of engage with creative output. Uh, normally, you know, it was always the designers making things and the audience were there to like passively kind of accept the designs. But now we have a process that these audiences could become the makers as well. And I think that's really powerful and, you know, it creates much more deeper engagement.